So here is the question for you. Which solvent is better for chromatography? Methanol or acetonitrile? Now you may be thinking whichever is available in the lab is better for chromatography. But is there a difference between methanol and acetonitrile when it comes to a chromatographic characteristic? And that's what the point we are going to discuss today. Most of the times reverse phase liquid chromatography has the limitations on organic solvents. You can either use methanol or ACN or THF. Rest other solvents are not useful because of their high UV cutoff. Let us now understand one when can consider using methanol or acetonitrile and vice versa. So acetonitrile and methanol are both used as an organic solvent in liquid chromatography, especially for reverse phase liquid chromatography. Now methanol is called as a polar protic solvent. Now why methanol is polar? Because it is actually a polarized compound due to the presence of highly electron withdrawing atom or electronegative atom like oxygen and hence this compound is going to be polarized slightly negative charge on oxygen and slightly positive charge onto the hydrogen so this is a polar solvent but why it is called as a protic solvent now the protic solvent is the solvent which has got hydrogen atom directly connected to the electron withdrawing atom like oxygen and hence methanol has the required uh, need so the methanol becomes the protic solvent what is the speciality of this protic solvent now this particular solvent can form the hydrogen bond with another compound because it has got the hydrogen present on it let us now talk about the acetonitrile the acetonitrile is polar but a protic solvent now why acn is polar because it has presence of electronegative atom like nitrogen. So the nitrogen is going to create a slight positive charge on this particular carbon and slight negative charge on the nitrogen and going to make it polar compound. But why it is a protic solvent? Because there is no hydrogen directly connected to the electron, electronegative atoms like nitrogen. The nitrogen is directly connected to the carbon but not to the hydrogen and hence this is called as a protic solvent. Now this compound, any aprotic compound will not form the hydrogen bond. It cannot donate the hydrogen to create the hydrogen bond. Let us now understand why acetonitrile can be preferred over methanol. The first point. Acetonitrile is generally preferred as a solvent over methanol for ALST detection technique or uh, evaporative light scattering detection because it tends to give a better signal. LC grade acetonitrile has a low UV cutoff than methanol. So it is always preferred to have the uh, low UV cutoff solvent to minimize the noise and to increase the sensitivity of the analytical technique especially if you are detecting the compound at low uv uh, wavelength like 200 or 210 nanometer in that case acn must be preferred over methanol if you use the acn your baseline will be flat and clean but if, if you use the methanol your baseline can have the noise and there could be disturbance and because of that the detection level and quantitation level can go high the pressure for methanol increases when mixed with water but not so much for the acetonitrile because acetonitrile creates the low back pressure however the methanol creates the high back pressure so the ASN can be preferred in case if you have the uh, compounds to be analyzed having the high flow rate or if the column is having the low diameter, low particle size, in that case, you can prefer the ACN over methanol. Again, ACN provides dipole-dipole interaction and this interaction may result into a different selectivity as compared to the methanol. ACN has a greater elution strength than methanol and can help in reducing the runtime. So these are the five reasons that will 
help you to understand why ACN can be preferred over methanol. Now, what are the advantages of methanol over ACN? So, there are few. Methanol has a poor elution strength than ACN and increases the resolution. So, in case if you don't have a constraint of runtime, but resolution is crucial, in that case, methanol can certainly help you. For a phenyl column using methanol as the mobile phase allows pi pi interaction which improves the separation. Now in some cases it has been found that if you use the ACN <coughs> uh, when using the pi phenyl column, the pi pi interaction with the phenyl column and ACN can happen. So that will limit the pi pi interaction of phenyl column with the compound. Because ACN is also preferably interactive with the phenyl phase with the pi pi interaction. So that may limit the pi pi interaction of compound with the phenyl column. And because of that, you may have the reduced retention time for compound or you may have the poor resolution in case if you're using acid as a organic solvent. So in that, in that case, you can always prefer the methanol. Methanol has a higher solubility than acetonitrile for ionic compounds such as acidic and basic compound. Now this will help you in case if you have the high salt mobile phases, the precipitation may take place in presence of ACN for such kind of the buffer salt, but may not happen the precipitation of such a salt in presence of methanol. Methanol provides hydrogen bonding interaction because methanol is the protic solvent and hence it can form the hydrogen bond and sometimes this becomes the reason for the different selectivity over S nitrile. Now when methanol mixes with water, the solution releases heat. You must have seen that when you mix methanol with water, it's exothermic reaction and you will get the solution a little bit high temperature, which facilitates for re releasing the dissolved air. At higher temperature, the air comes out of the mobile phase and the deaeration is going to take place. But in case of ACN, you must have seen it is an endothermic reaction. The temperature of the mobile phase goes down and because of that, there may be a chance of absorption of the air. So in case if the deaeration is not done effectively, the ACN containing mobile phase may create the air bubbles very often and that may result into the retention time fluctuation and the baseline disturbance because of the fluctuations in the uh, because of the absorbed uh, air in the mobile phase. Methanol is considered more environmentally friendly than estonitrile. So this also becomes the one important reason why methanol can be preferred over ACN. It is much less toxic as compared to ACN. So what is the conclusion? ACN and methanol both offer advantages and disadvantages. They offer substantially different selectivity to one another because of how they interact with the analyte. Methanol interacts with hydrogen bonding and ACN can interact with the dipole-dipole interaction and this may bring the different selectivity altogether. Investigating both methanol and ACN is therefore highly recommended. So it is always preferred to examine how the characteristics of the chromatogram in presence of methanol and ACN separately and if required, you can also use the combination of both as a part of your mobile phase. Thank you so much and let me know what is your opinion on this particular topic.